since the earliest days of personal computers, game developers have been transporting our imaginations to the Star Wars universe. With the release of Star Wars Battlefront, we now have the best visual representation to date of battling on Hoth, Tatooine, and Endor. Assuming your doctor approves your Metachlorian count, this video will cover everything you need to know to play Battlefront on a variety of graphical settings, from the bare minimum up to 4K resolution. Let's get started. Battlefront runs on an updated version of the Frostbite 3 game engine, which was made by the game's developer, DICE, and powers some of the most impressive looking graphics around. You may have already seen this engine running other EA games, such as Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, or Dragon Age Inquisition. From these games, we already know a bit about the performance characteristics of the Frostbite engine. Frostbite is not extremely demanding on CPUs, partially because it's very well threaded, meaning that it's good at utilizing multiple cores on a CPU. And as long as your CPU is good enough, getting a better CPU will not significantly improve Battlefront's performance. Now, the game is very demanding on GPUs. You'll need a good graphics card to really take advantage of the game's visuals. As with most games, the quality of your graphics card will be the greatest determining factor in the game's performance, as long as you don't have other bottlenecks such as a weak CPU or too little RAM. Also, as of launch, Battlefront performs significantly better on AMD GPUs compared to Nvidia, so our hardware recommendations will prioritize AMD GPUs. However, NVIDIA GPUs still play the game perfectly well, and for what it's worth, we recorded all of this gameplay footage on an NVIDIA GTX 970. Now let's also talk about graphical settings. Overall, Battlefront runs very well for how good it looks, even on ultra settings. The game also looks surprisingly good on low settings, and you can improve your performance quite a bit if you lower some of the settings. If your hardware is too weak to run Battlefront at your desired frame rate on high settings, we recommend you make a few tweaks to the graphical settings to get significantly better performance without lowering the graphical quality all that much. So first, for a frame of reference, if you lowered all of the graphical settings from ultra down to low, you'd see a performance improvement of roughly 60%. But some settings affect performance more heavily than others, and most people don't want to lower all of their settings if tweaking just a few will get the performance that they desire. There are four settings in particular that you can adjust to improve performance greatly without sacrificing too much of the game's appearance. In order of greatest impact, those settings are terrain quality, shadow quality, terrain ground floor, and mesh quality. If you need to lower settings to make the game run better, these are the settings to mess with first. And with that out of the way, let's figure out what sort of hardware you need to run Battlefront at your desired settings. Here are the minimum hardware requirements for the game according to DICE. This hardware is about what we'd expect as minimum requirements for the game. You need a 2GB graphics card from Nvidia or AMD, though nothing terribly powerful or expensive. The dual core GPU recommendation they provide is mm, interesting. They also recommend 8GB of RAM. You'd probably be fine with 4GB, but realistically most PCs should have 8GB regardless. The GPU recommendations here are a little outdated, and the CPU recommendation is a little obscure. So if you were looking to build a minimum requirements PC for Battlefront today, here's what we'd recommend instead. Keep in mind that this system will let you play the game at the bare minimum. This is not what you're looking for if you want to play the game on high settings at a respectable frame rate. We've updated the graphics card to either a GTX 750 Ti from Nvidia or an R7 370 from AMD. Our CPU recommendation is one of two cheap options, the G3258 from Intel or the X4860K from AMD. A complete PC built with specs like these should cost around $400. But let's say you do want to play the game at high settings and a respectable frame rate. Here's what we'd recommend for ultra settings at 1080p. With the R9 380 from AMD, this build should get right around 60 FPS in Battlefront with all the settings dialed up. If you go with the GTX 960, which is around the same price, expect 50 plus FPS unless you lower a few settings. The FX 6350 is an affordable hexa-core CPU from AMD, and Battlefront will certainly take advantage of it. Altogether, a PC built with specs like these should cost around $650. If you've got a 1440p monitor, we'll need to make some upgrades in order to make sure we maintain high frame rates at that resolution. Like with the previous build, we've prioritized the AMD GPU, which is the R9 390 this time around. 
The 390 should average a good 60 FPS at 1440p, whereas the GTX 970 will land closer to 50. For the CPU, the i5-4590 from Intel is a great choice. It's a quad-core, unlike the 6-core AMD CPU from the previous build, but it's a significantly more powerful CPU. A complete PC built with these specs might cost around $900. Finally, if you've got a surplus of galactic credits and you're not indebted to any huts, you might be wondering what you need to play Battlefront at 4K resolution. We know that dual GTX 980s are benchmarked right at 60 FPS with Battlefront at 4K. The 390X is nearly on par with the GTX 980 in terms of performance, so we're guessing that doubling up on that card will get at least 60 FPS in Battlefront since the game favors AMD GPUs. The i7-6700K is more than powerful enough to handle Battlefront in 4K, and you might as well get 16GB of RAM if you're splurging on everything else. And that is it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want more recommendations on building the best PC for your budget, visit us at LogicalIncrements.com. Thanks for watching, and watch where you point those lightsabers.